Okay, now we're going to install RS Networks for Ethernet. Uh, I didn't give you Control Net because nobody uses Control Net anymore. But we're going to RS Networks for Ethernet. Uh, you might find this valuable and you may find it worthless. Uh, it's not needed to do any programming or to communicate with your Ethernet modules. Um, so it's up to you if you want to install it. So we'll click on that. And again, we have to get our activation disk. Uh, read me activation instructions. Copy the serial number. Hit the setup. Required steps. And again, don't install RS Links Classic Lite. Do not install that. We've got Classic Gateway. Install RS Networks. Install RS Networks. And this is Ethernet. You see it here. It says, RS Networks for Ethernet IP. So we install this. Next. And again, we got links up here running because we started back up. We got to shut down RS Links Classic and shut it down, yes. And then hit retry. You'll see it's gone now. Hit retry. That's because it uses links to communicate with. And it has to uh, interface the two programs together, so it has to be shut down. Hit next. Paste in your serial number. And hit next. We'll just install all this. Ethernet Basics, Flex Modules, Point Modules. This is Flex IO. This is Point IO. And this is 1756 modules. These are uh, control logics modules and compact logics modules hit next we'll install everything and install it just take a few minutes As you see, there's only four sets of files to decompress. It won't take long. Okay, we're done. Take off the release nose and hit finish.
click on exit now we go to RS networks we'll go to Rockwell software RS networks and now you see we have a uh, Ethernet, RS Networks for Ethernet IP. Click on that. Okay, you'll see we're activated. There's the license. Now, if we do a WHO, our little computers are RS WHO and Lynx. You notice Lynx has started back up again. Now, since we started it, it starts Lynx automatically. And then here we'll just um, Let's go ahead and start a SoftLogix monitor up. So it's the SoftLogix chassis monitor. Double click that and it's running. That way we can see this stuff. Now if we go to our Ethernet here, Ethernet IP, and if we expand this out, uh, we say OK. Everything underneath Ethernet IP and it'll start browsing to see what's on the network and this gives you a visual indication of what's connected to your network and now you can see it we got a, an adapter here right here 101 and this is our rack and we got an adapter here connected 102 for this portion of the rack and here's our uh, point IO chassis with its Ethernet and its modules so it gives you a good visual of what's there and what you're seeing and what you're not seeing uh, this just means that RS Lynx is installed into it that's what that chain means that your Lynx okay you can say after you configure this stuff you can save these files and you go